Water, it's everywhere. From the vast oceans to the tiniest streams, water is an essential part of our world. We drink it to quench our thirst, swim in it for fun, and even shed tears made of it when we cry. But have you ever stopped to wonder where all this water comes from and where it goes after it leaves our sight? Well, get ready for an adventure as we explore the amazing journey of a water droplet through the water cycle. This journey is a never-ending loop that sustains life on Earth. Imagine a tiny droplet clinging to the surface of a shimmering lake, reflecting the sunlight like a precious gem. This little droplet is about to embark on an incredible journey, a continuous cycle that connects the earth and the sky, traveling through various stages and transformations. Fasten your seat belts, space cadets, because we're about to dive deep into the fascinating world of evaporation, condensation, precipitation and collection. Each step is a crucial part of the water cycle, making our planet a vibrant and dynamic place to live. Our tiny water droplet basks in the warm golden sunlight, shimmering like a precious gem. As the sun's rays beam down, they energize the droplet, causing it to heat up and gain energy. With this newfound energy, our little droplet starts to jiggle and wiggle, moving faster and faster, almost like it's dancing. Eventually, it breaks free from its watery brethren and transforms into an invisible vapor, rising gracefully into the atmosphere. This, my friends, is evaporation, the magical process where liquid water transforms into an invisible gas called water vapor, disappearing from sight. Evaporation is happening all around us, not just in lakes, but in many other places too, but also in vast oceans, flowing rivers, and even in small puddles after the rain. It's a continuous cycle that keeps our planet hydrated and alive. As our water vapor droplet ascends higher into the atmosphere, it starts to cool down. You see, the higher you go, the colder it gets. As the temperature drops, our vapor droplet begins to slow down, losing its energy. It bumps into other cool water vapor droplets, and together they huddle close for warmth. This huddle of countless water vapor droplets forms what we know as clouds. This process, my friends, is called condensation, the transformation of water vapor back into liquid water. Section 4, Stage 3, Precipitation Power, from Clouds to Earth. As more and more water vapour joins the cloud party, our little droplet, now part of a much larger group, gets heavier and heavier. The cloud, now saturated, can no longer hold all this extra weight. Gravity takes over, and our little droplet, along with its countless companions, falls back to Earth in the form of rain. This, my friends, is precipitation the grand finale where water returns to Earth from the atmosphere. And remember, precipitation isn't always rain. It can also be snow, sleet or hail. Section 5, Stage 4. Back to the beginning. Collection and repetition. Our water droplet, now back on Earth, might land in a river, a lake or even on a mountaintop. It might seep into the ground, becoming part of the groundwater, or flow into the ocean, ready for another adventure in the water cycle. This stage, collection, is where water gathers in one place only to be evaporated again, continuing the cycle. And so the incredible journey of a water droplet continues, a never-ending cycle that sustains life on our planet. Section 6. The Water Cycle. Why should we care? The water cycle is essential for life on Earth. It is the process that ensures water is continuously recycled and made available for all living organisms. It provides us with fresh water for drinking, irrigating crops and sustaining ecosystems. Without it, our agriculture would fail and our natural habitats would collapse. Without the water cycle, our planet would be a barren and lifeless place. Deserts would expand and water sources would dry up, leading to severe consequences for all forms of life. It's a delicate balance this continuous movement of water. From evaporation to condensation and precipitation to collection, each step is crucial. We must understand it, appreciate it and protect it, for it is the lifeblood of our planet. Scientists and conservationists work tirelessly to study and preserve this vital cycle. So the next time you see a cloud, a raindrop or a sparkling lake, take a moment to reflect on the importance of water in our daily lives. Remember the incredible journey of a water droplet 
and the vital role it plays in our world. From the highest mountains to the deepest oceans, water connects us all. Keep exploring, stay curious, and always remember, the cosmos is within us all. Every drop of water is a testament to the interconnectedness of life on Earth.